I've got a spare five minutes to myself today. Uh, everyone's gone out. But then I remember that I found um, a green lane. So looking at all these apps and stuff, planning adventures, uh, possible adventures uh, and stuff to come up probably next year now. Um, turns out that there's a green lane uh, not far from me. So I thought it was first to piss it down all day today. Um, but that was mostly this morning, so the ground is going to be nice and wet. Go on, mate. Um, but it's not looking too bad now. So I thought I'd hop out on the ground and check it out. You know, wet ground, ground with road tyres, questionable legality, what's the worst that could happen? So here it is, doesn't look too bad here. Not that far. Do up my lid, trying not to get run over. No one police here. And then we'll uh let's go. Check check. I don't expect this to be too challenging, but ugh, stand up. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice one. Oh, it's the first time I've just found it out, so I'm going to have a look. It's a bit muddy down there. Yeah, I'll give it a bash. Take it easy, man. Oh shit, so he said it's a bit muddy down there. <laughs> Bash. Well, at least that shows that it should be legal. Ugh. Fuck off! Ah, my head! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fly tipping. Bit of shit in the road. There we go. Go! Yeah. Easy. Easy, easy. So far, so good. So I can't believe I lived around this area for like five years and I uh, didn't know this was here. It'd be really interesting to see if I can find any more. I'd love, I'm trying to look for an excuse to buy uh, an enduro bike, at least. I used to have a two-stroke KTM 250 EXE and that was amazing but there's nowhere to ride it I'd love for there to be somewhere where I could ride it without trailering it but uh, and that's probably you know that's what I'm working towards now next year so I, I'm going to France on the Super Duke in a couple, less than a couple of weeks now um, do a track day when I get back but then it will always it'll be working towards finding out how a way I can do the Trans Euro Trail. That's what I really fancy next. So if I can build that into excuses, then uh, all the better. Yeah. Don't take your fucking eye off the road. <laughs> hey. But at least this I can pretty much lift it up. If we were to get uh, into any shit, then, uh, and I'm not a million miles away from home if, if it all fucking goes wrong. So yeah, so the Grom just had went flown past its MOT, um, and as a celebration, I even gave it another thousand miles worth of uh, get down there, a thousand mile oil change. Okay. 
here, so that's maybe one to explore on the way back. Let's go around here. So this is his church, tire church tracks. And it's supposed to pop out on another road somewhere. This is cool. Yep. Oh, bottoming out there, lovely chubs. Yeah, I can do this surely. <laughs> oh fuck my ass. First water crossing. Jesus Christ. Okay. this hmm. now by the side or in the middle by the side oh, fuck it. okay wrong choice wrong choice That's what he must have been talking about, where it's muddy. Fuck off. Okay, I see. Uh huh, and it did. There we are. Sweet. I'll get out, turn this around, and go back down. Come on, bastard. Relatively short, but uh, shit. beats staying in and knocking one off over the cleaner. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Right, let's go and see. Actually, let's get a fucking thumbnail for this bit if I ever make it back. Oh, glass. Burn up. Okay, let's pause you. Alright, that's all the fanning around. Um, now let's check out the other part. So, a few funny looks from uh, those old dog walkers. Some more shit in here. Some people mincing about, but there should be legal. 
must try it then again for this uh, another water crossing without getting wet. needs kids here. Brilliant. I've had uh, problems with pikeys around here before. Oh, they, rightly so, um, with all those side roads, logs and stones and rescues, things stopping pikeys pulling in their uh, caravans. Man, we're doing anyone any harm. You know, just having a look around the countryside on a motorbike. Hopefully, well, we live in hope that some of these lanes will re reopen, or more lanes in the UK will reopen with the with the oncoming um, uh, electric bikes. I, for one, will miss oops, uh, use of a sound of respin. But uh, if it causes less aggravation, then all the better. While we're on use of sounds and motorbikes, some fucking stupid prick in the government is trialling some noise cameras targeting motorbikes who are too loud. Fuck's sake. Couldn't they just uh, spend money on maybe improving policing and uh, look after our, our homeless or, and our uh, war veterans? Some more important shit like that. We're catching all the pricks that jump lights. Um, rather than people who are enjoying motorbikes. Yeah. Typical. Easier, easier to do that than fix the real problems, isn't it? Never mind, I digress. I'm saying this is great. Electric motorbikes, when uh, battery technology comes along, uh, will be great. Oh, my neck. Um, and this is great. The grub is great. Get to the end here. Have a cheeky break. Have a look around at the old grommage. What I might do is uh, do one more run. Bastard. Have one more run back uh, and then go home from the other side and see if that old prick has gotten of his dog. Great. Amazing. Find neutral. We can fucking turn it off. Don't find neutral. Come on. There we go. Have a look. Uh, Le Grammage. Not dirty. No bangs to the pipe. That all looks fine. It's not even. It's not even dirty. Uh, that's fine. It's 
fine. Oh, my shoulder. Yep. Pipe, that side even from going up that step is fine. Hold on. Yep, that's still one piece. Cool, right. I have vape and get into it again. Right. One more time with feeling. This is where <laughs> we normally fuck things up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just do it one more time. Yeah, be fine, no worries. If anyone else knows anywhere uh, in striking distance of like Barnet for some green lanes, uh, drop me an email um, to mickeyotw at gmail.com or uh, make a comment on this video. Um, I'd love to know more. If I didn't have bloody earplugs in, I could have had a better conversation with that guy I met on the way in here. Ho oh, hum. Right. Let's do one. a bike can you use to this is cheap this manageable can you use just to hug around doing skids wheelies commuting off-road uh, working it yourself it's just great great bike now I go back, scare the cleaner, and uh, start the long ball bag process of editing this. If anybody has got an idea of a decent laptop that doesn't take like six or seven or eight times the length of the video to render, please let me know because uh, that's also starting to pee me off. Otherwise, guys, um, thanks for for joining me on this adventure. Uh, the first time Green Lane on the Grom. I think I'll be back there at some point. Um, yeah, so if you don't mind, it really helps me out. Um, like and subscribe on my channel. See you later.